This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. The sun is cool, even though it's hot. They're saying it's cooling down. The sun is chilling out. Mini ice age. Okay, so, the sun's been acting weird. Thanks to modern technology, we can watch the sun in many spectrums and in many ways. So we're like sun watchers. Yeah, we are. We're just watching the sun as it acts weird. What's it gonna do? A whole lot of nothing? Hell no. The sun is always doing something. Like the whole light bulb theory. Because the sun is a complicated animal. Except it's not an animal. It's not a light bulb. It's not a light vending machine. It is the main source of light and heat on Earth. Warp speed 7 is hyper focused. Alright, this video is going to be pretty simple, pretty light, and pretty easy. Though extremely complex. Some scientists are now saying the sun is cooling off at a level unseen in 10,000 years. Though some other scientists are saying bullshit. But, in my personal opinion, I agree with NASA who said about a year ago, the sun is acting strange and inexplicably. And it is. De La Soul is asleep. It is baffling science. Is in a lull. It's chilling out. Mini Ice Age. Calm down. They're highly survivable. Survivable. WTF is going on with the sun. Those are the kind of questions we ask here at Thor News. Especially... When I'm looking at the sun, it's kind of creeping me out. And I haven't got much sleep because I've been work, work, working. As much as Miley Cyrus been twerk, twerk, twerking. And sticking out her tongue. So the facts of the case are, the sun has been acting weird for a while. A while meaning. End of 2011, up until now. And there are no signs that suggest the sun is just going to go back to being a vending machine of light. It never asks for payment of any kind. Some people like to think of the sun in terms of on fire and fuego and cool. I find it always helps. If I want to think of that sun as cool as to think of it as blue. Yes, I do. And the point of this video is pretty simple. The sun's been acting weird. Professional and amateur science agrees with me. Or I agree with them. Or we all agree together. All right, let's party with cake and beer and dancing. Maybe a big band or two. And star watching. Scientists have been up and down Peaks and valleys on the activity of the sun. We were supposed to be in a solar maximum around 2012 because solar maximums supposedly come around every 11 years. And the last known normal solar maximum was in 20 uh, 2001. That may not have been the year that uh, the Matrix came out, but it sure feels like the year the Matrix went online. Like TV's boring, sports is boring, small talk's boring. Astronomy, that's one of the seven arts, right? It's boom, and away we went, and here we are. Okay, so we're watching the sun. We're in videos like this, the images stand for themselves. Ice Age coming, question mark, asterisk. Neutron star, question mark, asterisk. Red dwarf, question mark, asterisk. Whole lot of nothing, question mark, asterisk. Those are the kind of questions we ask here at Thor News. Especially when I'm looking at the sun, it's kind of creeping me out, and... As much as Miley Cyrus been twerk twerk twerking and sticking out her tongue. You know, Miley, you can do all that, but can you at least grow your hair back? You know, Miley, the sun is cool, even though it's hot. They're saying it's cooling down. If the sun has cooled off at the fastest rate in 10,000 years, I guess it's from kicking off all those filaments I've been talking about for all the videos I've been doing on the sun of last year. Like, we ain't even in the solar cycle at all, it doesn't seem. Like, the solar cycles went off the rails, man. Nobody knows what the hell the sun is doing. Are we going into a maunder minimum? Is the sun shedding her skin and going, white dwarf neutron star? Is this all same old, same old, no big deal? I know, but I don't get it. Tired of checking out the sun because she always acts in strange and mysterious ways and provides us with light and heat and warmth. Moon glows, inspiration. Moon glows, inspiration. Moon is cool. So that's it, y'all. See, it's simple. At least once a week, I will be doing a video on what's been going on with the sun. Learning about it past, present, speculating with imagination, and heart, really. Covering the space weather happening now, and like every week of the now, or whatever. Sun Report. I'll come up with some clever, witty name for it. But today I just figured, with the consistent data, that the sun is acting weird, strange. If the sun has cooled off at the fastest rate in 10,000 years, then that would explain the polar vortex, or these odd weather changes. And there are a shit ton of monkey barrels we can get into over solar warming and climate change. And technically, the climate change is because of the sun. Granted, cows drive and pollute. Factories pollutes. Fukushima pollutes. And humans fart. 
But I don't see how taxes is going to help. Sea level is going to rise. They're going to freeze. They're going to thaw. They're going to rise. Cities, not by the sea. Okay. Now I'm being, not making a lot of sense But I've been working real hard, Ringo. It was almost like I started off 2014 being shot out of a cannon. It's been work, 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 work. High performance, high stress. All right, cool. God bless everybody. These are still crazy times. Space weather is still fascinating. Hey, maybe the sun loves us. Maybe. Hey, baby. Isn't there a fine line in the middle that is okay where you're not a sun worshiper and you don't ignore it? Astronomy is awesome. I go as far as to call it a seventh art. Maybe it's five or six. I forget. We'll discuss that on the next video. Okay. These boots were made for walking. Ice Age coming. Ice Age coming. Throw it in the fire. Throw it in the fire. In an interstellar burst. I'm back to save the universe. What's it gonna do? A whole lot of nothing? Hell no. The sun is always doing something.